Hello my dear friends. Today I want to tell you about the crazy Ibrahim, the son of Kozum Sultan. You will find out how he humiliated his family, and why Kozum ordered the execution of her own son. And before I start, I want to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for being with me, watch my videos and write comments with good wishes. This is very valuable to me. Statistics show that many people watch my videos without a subscription. If you are interested in the history of the Ottoman Empire and want to learn a lot about the life of the sultans and the harem, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, then you will not miss a single new video on my channel. And I wish you a pleasant viewing. Sultan Ibrahim is one of the most famous sultans of the Ottoman Empire. And he became famous thanks to his madness and outrage. Ibrahim was the son of Sultan Ahmed and Kozum Sultan. He was born on November 4, 1615 in Istanbul. His reign lasted eight years, from 1640 to 1648. He was the third son of Ahmed who became Sultan and the second reigning son of Kozum. While his older brother Murad was in power, Ibrahim was in the prison for princes, caves. It was a separate pavilion where the princes were kept in captivity. Ibrahim lived there all the time, being in fear. Caves was as an alternative to the execution of blood brothers of the newly minted sultan. Instead of executing his brothers, the sultan sent them to prison, to caves. However, this detention had a negative impact on the psyche of Ibrahim, and he practically repeated the fate of his uncle Mustafa, having gone crazy. Ibrahim lived in a cage under constant fear of death. And his life was really in danger. He was the youngest son of Sultan Ahmed. He remembered the execution of Shahzada Mehmet on the orders of his half-brother Sultan Osman II. Under him, there were two overthrows of Sultan Mustafa, the assassination of Osman II. By order of Murad, his brothers Bayezid, Suleiman and Qasim were executed. The dying Sultan Murad IV ordered the execution of his only brother Ibrahim in order to transfer the throne to the Crimean Khan Bahadur Jerai. But Ibrahim was saved by his mother, Kozum Sultan. Murad was deceived, saying that his order was carried out and Ibrahim was executed. But Murad did not believe and demanded that he be shown the dead body of his brother. He even tried to get out of bed, but couldn't. He died on February 8, 1640. The throne passed to the saved Ibrahim. At the moment when they came to him to release and declare him a sultan, Ibrahim decided that the executioners had come for him to kill him. He barricaded himself in a cage. And he opened it only when they brought him and showed the body of the dead Murad. Valide Kozum Sultan and the vizier Kara Mustafa Pasha again came to power. Thanks to them, stability continued to be maintained in the empire. However, the dynasty was under threat as Ibrahim had no sons. In general, Sultan Ibrahim was the last male representative of the Ottomans. In addition, the Sultan had no idea how children were born. But this situation was taken under control by Kozum. She invited the adventurer Jinji Hoja, who was known to be a healer. He supplied the Sultan with drugs and valide Kozum with concubines. Soon, through their efforts, Ibrahim had children. There are many stories about the debauchery and excesses of Sultan Ibrahim. He liked to have fun with naked concubines in the garden of the palace. He even raped a free Turkish girl, the daughter of a mufti. And he ordered to drown 300 harem girls in the waters of the Bosphorus. An unattractive image of this Sultan of the Ottoman Empire was written by an English writer, journalist and historian. Ibrahim was a weak, weak-willed man who inherited from his father only cruelty and none of his virtues. Irresponsible, with an unstable disposition, a self-serving person in essence, he liked to deal only with his harem, in every possible way pleasing his frivolous moods and desires. By his order, the baths of the city were inspected in order to find beauties for his love pleasures. The shops of jewelers and European merchants were robbed to satisfy the sudden whims and hobbies of the Sultan. In 1645, Sultan Ibrahim unleashed another war with Venice over Crete. But the conquest operation dragged on for a long time. Ibrahim preferred to spend all his time in the harem and indulge in epic orgies. Here is what Cantemir wrote about this. As Murad was committed to wine, so Ibrahim was committed to lust. He covered the walls of his chambers with mirrors to make it seem as if his love battles were taking place in several places at once. 
In the palace garden, he often gathered all the virgins, forced them to undress, and naked himself, uttering a neighing of foals, rushed among them and took possession of one or the other, kicking and resisting at his order. Ibrahim often had fits of rage and rage. Being in a fit, he almost killed his own son Mehmet from the concubine Turhan. His Shahzada Mehmet had a nurse. This nurse had her own child, whom Sultan Ibrahim loved very much. He played with all his heart and had fun with this child, while not paying attention to his own son. Turhan Sultan could not remain indifferent to the fact that the Sultan pays so much attention to the son of a maid, while avoiding their common son. On the basis of this jealousy, Turkan took out her resentment on the nurse and on her child. Sultan Ibrahim was furious at such an act. He snatched Shahzada Mehmet from his mother's arms and threw him into a pond. The eunuchs, who arrived in time, saved the boy from the inevitable death. One day he laid eyes on one of the widows of his late brother Murad. But she scornfully rejected his advances. Then he decided to get his by force. The woman broke free and grabbed the dagger, threatening the sultan that she would hit him. Kozum ran to the noise. She sprinkled reproaches against the sultan and let the unfortunate woman escape. An angry sultan Ibrahim expelled his valide from the top copy palace, deporting her to the old palace. And his sisters Aisha, Fatma, Kanzada, and Nis Kaya were humiliated. He took everything they had and gave it to his concubines. Moreover, the sultanas turned out to be dependent on these slaves. He forced his relatives to serve his wife Humasha as maids. Upon learning of such atrocities, Kozum went into a wild rage. A mother's love was instantly replaced by hatred. This led to the fall of Ibrahim. Valide Kozum Sultan sent a letter to Grand Vizier Ahmed Pasha. In it she wrote, In the end, he will not leave you or me alive. We have lost influence in state affairs. Remove him from the throne immediately. Everyone took up arms against Ibrahim the commanders of the Janissaries and Saipis, Ulama and Muftis. The Janissaries gathered at the gates of the palace and demanded the deposition of Sultan Ibrahim. Frightened, Ibrahim threw himself into the arms of his mother Kozum, whom he, with great reluctance, allowed to return to the palace. Ibrahim begged Vailai to save and protect him. She persuaded him to abdicate. His eldest son Mehmed IV was placed on the throne. Ibrahim was returned to the cage of caves. However, he was unable to live to his old age. Fearing a coup, the top of the Ottoman Empire nevertheless got rid of the former sultan. In 1648, Sultan Ibrahim was strangled. I thank you for watching. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And continue to stay with me so as not to miss new interesting stories about the Ottoman Empire. See you soon.